Peace to greetings and welcome to words that inspire by Chase of Ice Peace, where my goal is always to motivate, to inspire, to encourage, and to uplift. Uh, today I have um, another video that I wanted us to listen to together. I've heard this song before. I absolutely love it. It's okay more, which means it's in it's um, in Igbo. It's a language from Eastern Nigeria. Um, spoken in states like Imo state and anambra state where i'm from and it is by chioma jesus and mercy chimo they are amazing gospel nigerian gospel artists um and i love it it's a it's a wonderful uh praise song and i just wanted us to listen to it together so again this is okay more which means great spirit um and God is is a great spirit. The Holy Spirit is the great spirit. So that's what that means. Oh, let's move that a little bit. Okay. So here we go. Oh, I forgot to mention the song has subtitles which makes it um, very easy for those who don't know the language to follow along. I love the well I call it um the this worship name of God okay more spirit of the spirit is the same way we say that God is the king of all kings he is the lord of all lords because he's he's the highest king he's the greatest lord um some people will say he's the god of all gods or the god above all gods because or, or people emphasize the big G in, in God, Jehovah's name, as opposed to the small G, to show he is above every other God. And it's the same thing. He is the spirit of the spirits, because there are all kinds of spirits out there. There are evil spirits out there. Um, but God is the greatest spirit. God is the spirit of the spirits. There is none that is higher and none that is greater. All your promises you have fulfilled them all all your promises he is the God who says it in and it surely comes to pass another reason why he's the spirit of the spirits whatever God promises he always does whatever he has if if no matter the current circumstances or challenges we are facing now if we take an honest look at our lives I can guarantee that each and every one of us who believe in God, there is, there is something he has done. There are, there are, or rather, there are promises he has made that he has kept. And then there are promises in our lives that has, haven't manifested yet because the, the time just hasn't come or for whatever reason. But it will happen. It will surely happen. It's just a matter of time. But if we take a look back at our lives, there, there are promises God has made to us. 
that he has definitely kept. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> One with you is majority. One with God is majority. If I am with God and when and God is for me, you know how every you know how we say majority carries the vote. If it's just me and God, we already have the majority of the whatever majority is needed for whatever situation after all he is the power above all powers the god that owns it all he is the king above all kings the greatest spirit i don't have to stand with the rest of the world like there are a lot of us who struggle so hard for the world to accept us to fit in with the majority so that we belong and really the majority is with god because every other person or, or, or every other person we want acknowledgement from they are good they, they are just humans like like us they will pass they are under the control of god god is the god of life and the god of death they their opinion does not matter we will not change anything will not move anything for example, there is no um, opinion from a human being that we change whatever God has promised. There is no kind of authority a human being will wield that we make God's plan not to come to pass in our lives. So sometimes when we are struggling so hard to fit in with the majority, we forget that God is the majority. I guess what I'm trying to say is, there is no need to conform to any other standards. There is no need to go along with the flow or, or go, go along with what the popular opinion is or what the majority opinion is in wherever we live or whatever we are doing because the only majority that counts is God. Yes. Oh, did you catch that? Uh, where is it? Here we go. Oh, Batobi. When he enters, everything is, is settled. When he's... And another way to think of it is he's the God of peace. Wherever there is trouble, as soon as God enters the situation, everything, you know, peace descends everything is settled we might not see it yet but he's the god of settlement whenever he enters a situation whenever he he enters a home everything is settled and peace reigns supreme sometimes we'll say um or baton or dimma it means when he enters a house everything is good or Batobi, when he enters our hearts, our spirits, there is peace, there is settlement, everything is settled. I think I've referred to this um to this as a as a wonderful person, but I think it's more worship. I think it's 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 a worship song, it's absolutely beautiful. There is nothing you cannot 
That's uh, where is it? Hang on, let me just go back here. Echeto BSK. When I remember him, when I remember him, my faith is strong. When I remember him, I get strength. When I remember him, my heart is strength is strengthened. When I remember him, I get encouragement. When I remember him, I feel hopeful. That's that's what that means so again it's like whatever trouble you're in whatever situation you're going through you remember god if you think back at who he is if you look back at what he has done in the bible if you look back at what he ha what has come to pass in your life if you look at your testimonies the testimonies of the people you love if you remember just who he is if we remember who he is when when we when we think of him or when we remember him our faith is strong hope returns and just once again peace uh, always accompanies the thoughts of god peace comes in into our situations into our hearts That has got to be my favorite line in this song. Essentially, when the enemy has plotted and planned and done what he does in the dark, God, the Great Spirit, the Holy Spirit always comes and reveals. He's the God of revelation, the God that always reveals what is hidden in the dark. You know, sometimes, but sometimes the enemy plans for us, thinking we will not know. But when we are plugged into the source, when we are plugged in <clears throat> to the great spirit, when we are plugged into God, the enemy is going to go out there and plan and do what he does. But God always comes back, turns around and reveals it to us. It. for those of us that didn't follow the story just I, I was so lost in the song I didn't pay attention but uh, if you look earlier so this person here let me mute the sound let's see if I can find the start of it okay here we are so he's planning to go on a trip right Let me see where it first shows up 
here we are. I think this is it. So here, he's planning to go on a trip. And as each and every one of us are supposed to do, he prays before he leaves or his mother, whoever it is, prays with him before he leaves. And um, I, I always try to remember to do that. Even if I'm just going to the grocery store, even if I'm just driving to the grocery store, even if it's just a few seconds prayer, Father, take me safely and bring me safely back home because anything can happen on the way. You know, I always pray to God, make my journey accident free. And let me always come back home with testimony with with uh testimonies and in safety and in good health. And so they pray before he leaves. And then while he's on his journey that year, well his car gets ambushed by I guess armed robbers, kidnappers, whoever, and they kidnap him and they take him somewhere. And this is that part of the song where so he's 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 been he's been kidnapped. But this is that part of the song where she mentions that the enemy plans and God reveals something wakes her up in the middle. And I'm skipping certain scenes so when you watch it again. But something wakes her up in the middle of the night and makes her go to the altar to go and pray. And sometimes we, so that's her here. And why she's praying, this is what is going on. Her, her son or brother or whoever who had traveled uh is 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 in the hands of kidnappers and i wanted to mention sometimes we, we feel that we get a prompt in our spirit to pray for someone sometimes it's somebody we haven't thought of in a very long time sometimes it's it's someone we just saw a few minutes ago whenever the holy spirit puts that on you never ignore it because you never know what is happening like she's home it's the middle of the night you should be sleeping uh, and she doesn't know what's happening with him but she gets that prompt in her spirit to go pray and she decides to take her bible and go pray and so however it is you communicate with god whether you kneel down you lie whatever it is whenever the holy spirit lays that burden on you or just in your mind there's a well i call it a push a prompting is something that brings someone uh, to mind and you feel the urge to either call them think about them text them say how are you or pray for them always respond to it because it, you never know what's going on with them but here he's in the hands hands of of the kidnappers and then towards the towards the very end you see things are going on and she's still praying they try to hurt him with an iron and where they were going to do so something supernatural happens uh to the to the men who have kidnapped him to the men who are trying to hurt him and just like that that's this scene here he says something happens his his restraints uh, get loose and that he, that's how he's eventually able to escape and so it might not happen exactly that way you know because everybody's situation is different but you never know what's going on with someone or what's going on with a loved one so whenever you feel the urge the prompt the push to pray for someone you make sure you do and do it wholeheartedly whether it's for a few seconds a few minutes a couple hours until that push is gone you might never know what happened to that person you might never know what god has used your prayers to prevent in the life of that person or to cause to happen for that person but just you know make sure you do it and never ignore it as always i am going to put the link to this video in the description box below i hope you enjoy it make sure you listen to it on your own and if you come across any gospel songs you would love me to take a look at make sure you drop uh the link below and subscribe to the channel feel free to share the video as well uh as always wherever you are whatever you're doing i wish you the absolute best we're blessed